Far beyond the reach of sunlight, past planets, moons, and the pull of solar winds, there exists a place so silent it hums with a kind of ancient energy. This is where Voyager 1 now drifts nearly 24 billion kilometers from Earth suspended. In a darkness so complete, it feels like the edge of time itself. Launched in 1977, this spacecraft was engineered with durability in mind, yet no one truly expected it to survive this long. Even more surprising, it's still communicating. But now, something unexpected is unfolding. Voyager 1 isn't just transmitting routine data anymore. The signals have changed, defying everything scientists have come to expect over decades of observation. Encoded bursts, impossible shifts in temperature, and bizarre positional movements are all pointing toward one unsettling conclusion Voyager 1 may have discovered something. Or something has discovered it. What exists out there in the deep? Void between the stars, why has Voyager suddenly altered its behavior, shifting direction, and sending back information that has stunned even the most seasoned researchers at NASA? What comes next could redefine how we view the cosmos and ourselves. Voyager 1's original mission was simple, at least by spacefaring standards, photograph the gas giants. It was expected to operate for no more than a decade along its path. It delivered humanity's first up-close views of Jupiter and Saturn, including their moons, swirling storms, and vast magnetic fields. But once that mission wrapped, something remarkable happened. The spacecraft was still operational, so it kept going. NASA redirected it toward the unknown, and for decades it sent back data across the abyss of interstellar space measurements, of solar particles, the interstellar medium, and cosmic radiation. What's more incredible is that it accomplished all this with 1970s technology a probe running on a tiny amount of memory, powered by the decay of plutonium, and using nothing. More than radio waves to communicate, despite its age, Voyager wasn't just functioning it was thriving. But eventually, small oddities began to surface, instruments powered on without commands. Software untouched for 40 years started behaving unpredictably. At first, these glitches were dismissed perhaps caused by cosmic rays or degrading. Hardware, after all, it made sense for an aging probe to show signs of wear. But the frequency and precision of these anomalies began to suggest something more. They followed patterns too precise to coordinate it to be random. Then, in 2023, the Deep Space Network received a signal unlike any before. Instead of the expected, slow stream of scientific data, engineers were confronted with tight bursts. Of pulse signals, these weren't random. When decoded, they revealed harmonics and frequencies suggestive of resonant stones that hinted at some kind of structure. Some researchers began to compare it to a form of communication, not human, but perhaps only possible in the vacuum of space, and then came something even stranger. A thermal sensor, believed long dead, reactivated, it began transmitting temperature. Data showing a consistent cycle of heating and cooling every 4.88 hours. Not only was this pattern rhythmic and intentional, but it also had no known source. Voyager 1, drifting through the coldest, emptiest region of space, was warming up on a schedule. Even more disturbing, Voyager started replying to NASA's signals before the full commands had been sent it seemed to anticipate requests responding. With data packets as if it knew what Earth was going to ask, this behavior left engineers unsettled. The spacecraft has no artificial intelligence, no predictive algorithms. So how was it doing this after more than for decades of conventional operation? Then came the most dramatic shift yet, Voyager began to change its own course. Without any instruction, it initiated small adjustments to its trajectory using it. Remaining fuel, when NASA sent correction commands, the probe received them but did not respond. It was as if Voyager had stopped listening or was listening to something else. The new direction it chose didn't align with any known stars, nebulae or gravitational features to our instruments. It was an empty patch of sky. To Voyager, it was something else entirely. Infrared and gamma ray scans revealed nothing unusual in the region, nothing but cold, empty space. 
but according to Voyager's onboard sensors, a faint pulsing signal was emanating from that direction. Even more shocking, Voyager's long dormant cameras powered back on not capturing stars or galaxies, but instead, a moving, spiral distortion pattern. It resembled a magnetic field map. Embedded within the spiral were ratios tied to hydrogen the most basic building block of the universe. Voyager wasn't recording light anymore. It was recording information. Soon, this spiral data overwhelmed. Teams at NASA and SETI, the pattern had layers intelligent layers. It wasn't just a visual distortion, but a structured message encoded in electromagnetic waves. The embedded signals included prime numbers, frequency intervals, and even vector. Coordinates. One of those coordinates intersected with the galactic plane and formed a triangulated point involving three pulsars and a void between them. It was a precise location, experts argued over the implications, was Voyager being summoned or had. It stumbled upon a signal meant to be discovered. Either way, this was no malfunction. The message had been constructed using Voyager's own systems, its familiar language of data and frequency. And now it was heading there towards something, a known dot as Voyager continued on its redirected path. The data it sent back grew stranger. It wasn't detecting a black hole or a collapsing star. It wasn't registering dark matter or even empty space. What it sensed was more extreme, a complete void. So absolute that even the cosmic microwave background, the ever-present echo of the Big Bang bent unnaturally around it. When researchers at NASA compared this location to older sky maps, they made a chilling discovery. A star that had appeared in 1997's optical surveys was gone. Not faded, not collapsed, gone, no heat, no radiation, no gravitational effect. As though it had been erased removed from reality. Some scientists began whispering about the unthinkable. A localized failure in the structure of spacetime. A tear in the cosmic code itself, shortly after, Voyager transmitted a new kind of signal. Through spectrogram analysis, it was revealed not as raw data but as sound. A pulse, coherent, rhythmic, like sonar bouncing off something invisible. The interval between pulses, when calculated, suggested that the signal originated over 13,000 years ago, yet it was only now reaching Voyager. The message had been traveling through deep space since long before humans built cities before recorded history. But why was it encoded in a way that only Voyager, following its exact trajectory and speed, could intercept? Theories poured in, some speculated ancient alien beacons. Others considered the possibility of time loops caused by gravitational warping. But one possibility was harder to ignore. Voyager hadn't randomly discovered this location. It had been. Led their dot as Voyager's transmissions gained attention, scientists turned powerful instruments including the James Webb Space Telescope toward the coordinates. What they found disturbed even the most skeptical minds. There was no object, no planet, no structure. And yet, space itself was curved as, if distorted by an invisible gravitational lens. And at the center of this distortion, James Webb detected something impossible, a thermal pattern identical to Voyager 1, even though the real probe was still light years away. Was it a reflection, a duplication, a paradox caused by time distortion? It raised the ultimate question had Voyager entered a region where time folds in on itself, a pocket of space where past, present, and future coexist, light echoed, data bounced. Reality blurred dot in response, a quiet but explosive hypothesis emerged. A coalition of fringe theorists, quantum physicists, and AI researchers ran advanced simulations. Their models revealed repeating structures in Voyager's most recent signals and algorithm to deliberate to be natural. It wasn't created by US, yet it was clearly designed. Something or someone had embedded a quantum key into this region of space. A key only accessible via specific frequencies, the kind Voyager emitted. What if its entire journey had never been random? What if something had been waiting for us to reach this point of understanding, this level of technology, and only then?
reveal itself, Voyager 1, once a humble scientific probe, may now stand at the threshold of something far greater. Not merely an anomaly, but a cosmic message. A puzzle woven into the fabric of spacetime itself. For nearly 50 years, it has sailed silently through the void, carrying the questions of an entire species. Now, it may carry our first answers. Could we be on the brink of uncovering something far older and deeper than we ever imagined? A whisper. From the dark, a presence beyond the stars? One thing is certain, Voyager's mission is far from over. This is not the end. This is the beginning of a new chapter one that forces us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the universe and our place within it. So, what do you believe Voyager has found? A malfunction in reality, a doorway, or something even more unimaginable?